Hey, Rock for Jake here. Today I'm joined by Brianna from Midwest Rustic. How's it going, Brianna? Good. How are you, Jake? Doing fantastic. So things have changed a little bit since our last video. Yeah, definitely changed. <laughs> um, last of... time we were up in Beloit at the Antique Mall. Yeah, we kind of exploded since then. So yeah, yeah it's definitely um, the venture really has taken off um, and definitely have grown, so. Yeah, and so speaking of definitely have grown, you just opened this lovely new space here in downtown Rockford. It's right across the street from Carlisle and Runner's Image, so yes. super easy to find. But uh, tell me a little bit about kind of the, the story and the inspiration for the space, and then we'll go on a little tour. Okay, so um, I've been literally drooling over this location for about a year, um, even <laughs> before it was even available. Um, I had always envisioned my store to have like a brick wall and wood floors and it to be downtown. Um, and so when I had found this location, I just kept an, my eye on it, just hoping, it's kind of bad to say that the previous tenant would be out of there soon. Uh, <laughs> they would move on to bigger and better yeah, things. Yeah, yeah. So um, <laughs> we saw the rent for rent sign in the window and every time that it would drive by the storefront to like head up to Beloit or wherever, I would snap a picture of the front sign in the window. Um, and each time it was too blurry to make out the phone number. To <laughs> no <call>. way. <laughs> yeah. It's so frustrating. So, so frustrating. Um, but then the last week of January, I got a clear picture and I've got the number and I called the number uh, and the landlord answered, which was crazy. Yeah. And yeah. he was like, I can meet you in three hours. So we literally met three hours later. And then not even, maybe a week later, I signed the lease. So That's it was like insane. super fast. So fast. Did not even expect it. Um, I even, you know, like the week before even like calling him and realizing that there would be a storefront, I had signed up for like three big markets in May. So it's just like one thing after another. And I was just like, well, it's happening. So, yep. um, but we met and I signed the lease and I literally just cried because the, the space was literally what I've always envisioned my store to be like. Um, so I was super blessed enough to be able to land this, this location. And for me, I really only need wall space. Sure. Um, and so I was like, well, what am I going to do with the rest of the store? Um, uh, I can't make enough for that. Um, so, and I have a lot of friends that have small businesses, um, that are artists. Um, and I was like, well, why don't I reach out to them? So I know during the COVID everyone was able to, um, really dig deep and like find their true passions or like their hidden talents and hobbies. Yeah. Um, so I was like, well, why not give, use my platform, um, to let these other small businesses and artists like be able to have a space have their space and bring their products out yeah so the whole store is really a um collective of rockford artists and a state line artists some, some are in like beloit um and i yeah everyone just kind of came together um it's more of like a boho um home decor store it's very relaxed here we don't want it to be any like too stressful um and yeah, it's just a great place to come, hang out. and Yeah, it's got a great vibe. Well, yeah. let's go on a little tour and you can talk about some of the people that are here in your space. Okay, so starting here, um, we have Lewis Leathers with uh, Bobby Lewis. Um, he has, he makes like the tote bags and the toiletry bags and wallets. Um, he is also over at Third Mark around the corner. Um, he hand stitches his leather. Um, he gets his leather from like Italy and Chicago. Um, his work is stunning, um, and I was super excited to get him in here. Um, next, we have um, Dennis. He actually uh, wood turns bowls. So these are all like different types of woods, and on the bottom you can see like if it's walnut um, and like the date that he made them. Um, so he has lots of those. And then we have uh, the handmade hippie. <laughs> Perfect. Yes. Um, and she uh, works in town at a funeral home. Um, but these are all of her poly clay earrings that she hand makes. And they're big sellers. Super popular. Um, and then we have, let's see, we have Trevor. Um, he's from like the Bloyd Rockton area. And he takes old car parts and he makes lights out of them. Oh, no way. Yeah. So those are really neat. 
Uh, we also have down on the farm with Sherry. Um, she brings in a ton of sugar molds, but she also refinished this gorgeous worktop bench, uh, which is for sale. Oh, very cool. So yeah. like even some of the things that things are sitting on. Yeah, are even furniture is for furniture, sale. Furniture, yeah. Yep. Um, and then we have Beth uh, with Crafty Bee. She hand weaves these rope bowls and she even hand dyes uh, some of the rope too. Very cool. So she makes those. Um, then we have Gunny and Cull. Um, she is based out of Beloit. She has um, stuff at uh, Vintage Bliss in Beloit as well as a um, Frosted Farmhouse in Rockton. Um, she specializes in like home decor, but her big thing is also candles. So she pours soy candles, which we also do carry. Um, those are a huge seller for her. Um, and then we have Vintage Bliss, uh, Christy. Um, so she is up in Beloit as well. She owns Vintage Bliss. Um, so she does a lot of home decor. And then over here, we have uh, Leslie Martinez. Okay. Um, she designs uh, prints and she does cards. Uh, she is a nurse in town. Super sweet girl. And then we have Folly Sun Prints, who is Rockford based. Um, she is, I fangirled so hard when I met with her. <laughs> um, yeah, she's really nice. She's super sweet. She hand cars these designs out of rubber mats and makes her own stamps, and then she stamps fabrics. Um, and then these are the Gunny & Co. candles that are okay. for sale. Um, she has a lot of different scents. Her Wilderness is like one of her most popular ones here. And she also has wax melts. Um, and then we have Synergy Collective. Um, great couple, super fun people. Um, so we have all the crystals and the necklaces, bracelets, all the smudging stuff that you need and the tumble stones. Very cool. Um, and then we have Betty and Dot. Um, she is out of Brockton. Um, she is from Chicago. She relocated to the area about a year ago and she throws her own pottery. So she makes all of this out of her home. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah. Um, and then we have Victoria Nicole. She has a space up at Vintage Bliss as well. She is Rockford based. So she's um, from the area. She makes all these super cute, um, like mini moss pots with vintage photos. <laughs> Everyone nice. loves those. Very cute. And then we have um, over here, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> We have a uh, Megan Vold who does like the weaving macrame tapestries. Okay. Um, and then we have. Um, I see some oh, of your stuff speckled in here. Yeah, as well. my yeah. stuff is like the moss. I do the mosaics, and then we have um, Alyssa who does um, earrings and keychains. And then we have Catherine with Urban Art Studios who does the knotty macrame. Nice. Mm hmm. Um, and then we have Kaylin Ganazi. She is a NICU nurse and she makes little baby onesies. <laughs> That's perfect. <Yes. laughs> she uh, works in the NICU and she's yeah. doing the onesie thing. Um, and then we have created by Chelsea. She does um, the tote bags that we have and she has some signs here and there. Um, and then we have this uh, is Gypsy Sass and she has the cutest tops. And clothing it's all really affordable it's super popular and then and, and then last one always we have yes. the, the nook yes so we have um lgj lettering she hand letters all of her signs um and really big sellers we love her work she's super talented um and then we also have boho bella um she thrifts all these really neat um pieces that she finds and they all kind of fit really well in here so yeah yeah absolutely so um for those that you know want to come in and see the place in person or um follow you online to get previews of all the stuff that's coming in and out of the shop where can they go to to find you so we are on instagram at the midwest rustic underscore um that is my business page but then we are also at uh the underscore midwest underscore 
rustic underscore collective, okay. which is the store. The store. Yep. Gotcha. Um, and then you can also find us on Facebook at just the Midwest Rustic. Um, we'll be posting lots of um, events that are coming up and the markets that are we'll be a part of. Um, and we all, you know, we really just hope to see all you guys here. Yeah. And they can come on down to the store. And what's the address for the store? The uh, address is 218 East State Street, Rockford. Um, we are like right a couple doors down from Taco Buddies. Um, right now, our hours are Tuesday through Saturday, 10 to 6. Um, and then when market opens, we will be open um, 11 to 9. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much, Brianna, for taking the time to get together and chat and give me a tour of your new space. Congratulations. Thank you so it much. It is pretty awesome, um, but cameras never do this kind of stuff justice. So definitely come on down and pay the store a visit and say hi and check out all these wonderful entrepreneurs here that uh, Brianna is helping to support and give space to to show off their crafts. Um, so you're really not just supporting one entrepreneur, you're supporting a whole bunch when you come down and shop at the Midwest Rustic. I just want to give a real quick shout out to all of our business sponsors and our backers that make content like this possible. It's because of their support. I'm able to highlight uh, local people like Brianna and tell you about awesome businesses like the Midwest Rustic and bring you all this wonderful positive content for free through the power of the internet. So thank you so much to them. And we'll catch you on the flip side. Bye, Rockford. <laughs>